Well, the governor says the deal is imminent, and he expressed confidence it will be a long-term agreement and good use of tax dollars. Governor Wes Moore makes it sound as if a lease agreement with the Orioles will happen any minute. This deal is eminent, and I'm very proud about where we're going to land. Land development rights around the ballpark had been a sticking point as of last Friday. That's when Senate President Bill Ferguson expressed concern about how tax dollars would be used. He also opposed the length of the deal. The governor declined to say how the Senate president's objections are being addressed. We have to make sure we are locking in long-term deals because we have to make sure that we're adding a measure of predictability to what is going to be the long-term growth of a city and to a region and to a state. That we have to make sure that we are being proper stewards of taxpayer dollars. The state is seeking a 30-year agreement. According to people with knowledge of the negotiations, Orioles CEO John Angelos wants both the lease and the rights to redevelop the B&O warehouse, the vacant Camden Station building, and part of the parking lot just outside the stadium. We've been working with, with our, our partners in the legislature uh, and around to make sure that everybody will see that this is going to be a strong deal for the Maryland taxpayer. The governor says since day one, he has had three criteria for a lease extension. No short-term deal. He says his administration is going to be proper stewards of every single tax dollar, and he wants to create winners on and off the field. We have to ensure that this is not just about baseball. It's not just about sports. It's about economic growth and economic development and how that has to be partnered with every single segment and section of a city and a community. That it's not just about a corridor or downtown. What does this mean to actually properly invest in the city and the region as a whole? In his desire for a long-term lease, he made reference to the Washington River uh, Wizards and Capitals possibly relocating to Northern Virginia. He noted how fickle sports teams can be. Now, the agreement, if struck, has to be okayed by the Maryland Stadium Authority and the State Board of Public Works. They can meet, though, at any time. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.